Americans don't know why Oklahoma has this strange panhandle. What could be going on here that's so important to where Oklahoma needed this land? Well, actually, this strip of land used to be one of the most violent parts of the country where all crimes were legal. This panhandle used to be part of Texas, but when the Missouri Compromise was signed in 1820, this made slavery illegal north of the 36.5 parallel, forcing Texas to give up their land. But the Kansas-Nebraska Act established their land just north of the 37th parallel, leaving a 34-mile gap between Texas and Kansas. For 40 years, this strip of land was known as no man's land and didn't attract the frontier's very best people. Violence and mob justice ran the land and the one town that boomed in no man's land was fittingly known as Beer City. There was apparently a constant rotation of cowboys from all over the plains stopping in the tent saloons to load up on drinks given the US was in its prohibition period. Beer City was eventually put to an end once the debauchery apparently became so great that the US government finally decided this land needed to belong to somebody and well gave it to Oklahoma.